Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. And today, I wanted to talk about the buckling system between the bounce boots and the Kangoo jumps. The Kangoo jumps I've had for many years. I've just recently started wearing the bounce boots. Uh, one of the biggest challenges for me with the Kangoo jumps is the locking mechanism on top of other things with the boots. Today, I just wanna focus on the buckling system. So a couple of things, first of all, as you see, all the straps go to the left on the outer side of the boot. With the bounce boots, the top strap goes to the inner part of the boot where the bottom two go to the, to the outer part of the boot. There's an advantage there because now you're gonna get a good distribution of support around your foot. Very, very important. It really makes a difference when wearing them. And uh, from the comfort standpoint, um, one of the biggest challenges, and this could be one of the reasons why is their mechanism and their booty where I get a lot of pain in my feet. I'd be lucky to walk three miles. Um, many a times here I did today five miles, no problem, and I could have kept going. So let me show you how this works. This buckling system pulls out and then it pushes down and locks in place. Here you've got another strap plus they've got these pulleys with the buckle system. So I'll show you that. So first, let's go ahead and lock the system with the kangaroo jump. So you're gonna push that into place. And then once you have a setting, and you push down. So the top one, I generally don't have an issue with locking. Where I have an issue with the kangaroo jumps is the bottom two. So here, as I'm pushing this in, now I could just leave it like this, but I might wanna go a little tighter. And the problem when I go tighter is I I struggle to, to lock it, and then what happens is I push the release, and then this loosens back up. So again, if I want to just push down, I can't even lock that in place now. So I'd have to lock this down and then push in that way. So I'm not necessarily getting the correct level of tightness. This one as well. This also becomes an issue, and you can see I can't even lock that. So it struggles to get it. Um, where if you want it tighter. So you, you obviously don't want it uh, over tighten these straps, but you want it tight so you feel like you're getting the support. With this system, what I like about this is I push this in and it's really got a nice booty, but the locking mechanism on this top one's great. This locks easily, as you can see, push in here to the buckle system. This has a pull system, so it just makes it nice and easy and they're supposed to even get better. This locks in here. And again, you could make it as tight as you want to go. And it looks like that's about as far as it wants to go. So um, there you go. Uh, that is about the buckle system. Um, a big, big difference. Uh, really can't say enough about loving the bounce boots and I'll be focusing some other videos and comparing the two. What I'll do is I'll put a link to uh, the bounce boots. There is a discount coupon code that you get for with a free bag to carry your boots. So what I'll do is uh, you would just email me because the, the coupon code may change and then I can uh, email that back to you. So I'll put that in the description as well. So there you go, that is my focus today, talking about the bounce boots and the Kangoo jumps and their buckle system. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Hope you're enjoying your bouncing. Take care.